I haven't checked it yet. Oh god, now he's got a flyer. He's down to 7 health. Damn, man, there is a stalemate going on. This ain't good. Two of these damn four twos. Oh no. I can't do anything here. I'm stuck. He's probably gonna attack in on me, at least I would if I was him. Well, I might. He is at low health. I guess we'll see how astute the AI is here. A lot of times the AI can be a little defensive. Not that it's necessarily a bad move here, but it would be a good idea for him to would try to whittle away some of my guys so that he can fully get back in this. As long as he doesn't expose himself. I mean, I can trade. He Oh, I have double strike. What the hell, dude? Thank you, Ben. I didn't. I thought this was my regular two-two. You really do have to zoom in sometimes, because that can cost you if you're not paying attention. Do it, baby. Do it. I should have been able to... Uh, he should be down to 5 right now. Okay. The AI is just land flooded. I wonder how randomized the AI uh, decks are in these uh, storylines, because Sometimes it feels like they purposefully land blood. Double strike, so I'm gonna do four here, so he's only got one more turn before I finish with the cavalry. Sky Spear Cavalry. It actually reminds me of uh, Elven Griffin Cavalry in my in my world of Echoloria in my campaign setting. I had a gray elf city. Ben, you might be familiar with Grey Elves. They're basically a, a very highly magical elf subrace, and uh, they basically are known to inhabit secluded mountain cities um, and have a lot of magic. It almost reminds you of Tolkien esque elves, you know. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Let's put him out of his undead misery. Baby. Ashen Ghoul? What, um, is that the ghoul that he had out there, Melcy? You appear to be offline. What? That's not possible. Is the stream still live? How can I be offline if the stream is still live? Little bit bizarre. Okay. You made a haystack that revolved around cards like buff units when they come into play and units that come into play until they turn they return to my hand. Interesting kicker, that's a good strategy. Okay, so I guess I'll have to continue offline this is weird. Try again. Give it another shot. Looks like it might be working.
One deck that revolves around the Nether Shadow and this other 3-1 creature with the same ability from the Ice League. Timmy plays to have fun, Johnny plays for intelligence, Spike plays to win, and Porthos plays for flavor. Oh, I've, I've heard of those, Ben. I've heard of those. I think I'm a little, like a lot of us, I'm a little bit of all of those. I like I like to have fun, I like intelligent decks, flavorful decks, and sometimes it's just fun to win, too. What in the dickens is going on? Definitely online. Alright, we may have to reboot. Give him the old DOS boot. close it. Well, let's... Hopefully I at least get my reward for this. In a single duel, had your flying creatures deal 15 damage and, dealt no, and was dealt no damage yourself. And were dealt. That's a typo. Deck upgraded, baby. Wait, I don't... What the hell? It didn't give me credit? Are you kidding me? What a troll, what a troll, troll deck game. All right, we're gonna reboot here, guys. Bear with me. That's just redonks. That is just redonks. Welcome to the tavern, folks. I'm glad a lot of people are stopping by for this magic this magic reveal. So far I'm really digging this game. I know I'm gonna be playing it a lot. We do have a random Steam raffle too in case people are interested in that. If you just want to watch a little bit of the magic, feel free to. Right, let's take a look at our card collection. It's unavailable. You can get access by following the Trail of Sparks through the menu to learn more about the features of Magic Duel's origins. For completing, For completing this skill, skill quest, quest, you've, you've earned, earned some coins. Oh, did I get coins? Damn it, I have to play this one again. Alright, we'll do it, we'll do it. Darth, my man, what's up? I didn't give me credit, apparently, unfortunately. Yeah, Thalid spawns Sapperlings. I've seen some crazy decks with that sort of stuff, Matasuma and Ben. And uh, it can get really crazy really fast. You can fast. have multiple creatures grouped together to usually yeah, so you can double block. Will deal. You'll see trample. And we already remember. went through this, so I'm going to just speed through it. What's up, Darkkins? How you been, man? To block an incoming attack, Click and drag one of your creatures to the attacking creature. The Vorlock, how you doing, mate? Once you've selected Welcome all to the, the creatures tavern. you want to block with, click. We're doing a review of Magic Duel's Origins. We've been looking forward to this game for a while, Vorlock. And it is, it is looking cool so far. It's not disappointing, I'll say that. It feels smooth. The tutorials are well done. Go ahead and trample on through this wall. Like I said, I don't like metal walls. I like living walls or unliving walls only. Great job. Um, you get coins for doing these various tutorials. You get coins for doing aspects of the storyline or campaign. 
And I'm Normally, enjoying the campaign. All attacking and blocking creatures deal combat in this okay. skill quest. This is with first strike. The first strike. Let's see. We're gonna attack here. Oh no, he's attacking me. I have to block him. A timer so counts down. When and we hit stop timer. There is a timer you have to basically use. If you want to slow, if you want to slow down the phase, um, so don't forget to use the stop timer. It's going to be very crucial, and the timer moves very quickly if you do not stop it. It's actually a smart way of doing things because it it makes sure that the game is moving along rapidly, but it also maintains the game's integrity by allowing you to slow down certain phases when need be. Playing a little Smite Darkin's bench game, Diamond Loading Frame. Hell yeah, man. Well done. I may have to First get some gems just so I can do that. Offense. So I can get one of those season tickets, Darth. Which sucks because I'm also giving away 100 gems uh, like within the month of August. So it means I'm going to be spending even more money on Smite. Alright, we're gonna take this guy out again. I did it once, I'm gonna do it twice. This time, don't put me offline, magic. Don't put me off, baby. You know what, I wonder if you can just hit enter to pass cards. Swift Claw. Darkins, are you pretty good at CSGO? Can you tell me a little bit about the game? Is it really hard to get into it? Like for someone like me that was pretty good at Battlefield, what would you say? You're playing with tons of land enchantments that give mana an enchantment that lets you tap a creature to untap a land. Because all pallets spawn saplings with bungle growth anyway. And the elves that let you draw cards when you cast enchantment. I remember that card, Montezuma. I think they made new cards like that too. It's my flying eagle with vigilance here. He's got the 2-2. Two -two. Um, you know what? I guess the question here is do I want to sack one of my guys potentially and just attack in on him he's got two mana I'm gonna say no I'm gonna skip the attack here to start and save my guys first time CSGO players are gonna suck since a lot of the people you meet online are pretty good. Okay, Darth. That seems kind of like it. Like the way it works. Okay, so you can hit enter to pass by the cards that you play or that your opponent plays. Let's get that man out here. I'm at four mana. Let's see, I could attack. You know what? I'm going to hold off here. I'm going to get some more troops out and get ready for a glorious charge. Not next turn, but the turn after, most likely. I can't attack because this guy will block my flyer. Your brother had an infinite wrath of God deck? Yeah, I'm not sure I'm familiar with that kicker. What type of deck is that? Infinite wrath of God? Up, kitty. Okay. I have just enough to bring out the Sky Spear Cavalry now, so why not? Let's get them all, get all our cards on the board. Lay it out there. 